So on this video, we're going to be talking about the factors that help determine the, the climate of a certain region. And we're going to be going through very fast. I'm not going to be talking about everything in too much detail because this is background knowledge that you're supposed to know for Earth-based science. So the major factor of climate is definitely going to be sunlight. Sun is the source of energy for Earth. And so how much sunlight you receive, in other words, the amount of exposure, how long you have sunlight, and how intense the sunlight is, is going to help determine a lot of the factors of climate, including temperature, which is one of the most important factors. Now, in the center of the world, the equator region, sunlight is hit directly, while on the top and the bottom of the world, it's more indirect. So because of that, the sun is out longer in the equator, and it's also right on top of your head. That means the equator has a greater exposure and greater intensity of sunlight, which makes it hotter than the other regions, the temperate and polar regions, respectively. So that means that latitude or how close you are to the equator is one of the major factors that will determine your climate the closer to the equator the hotter it is we talked about that in the previous video however this is a pattern that changes throughout the year because the earth is wobbles on its axis and so it's kind of tilted and because of that tilt a certain area of the world is facing the sun directly during six months and then later as the earth goes around uh, the opposite area is going to face and that means that seasons will af affect how much of sunlight actually be is, is hitting. I'm going to go back a couple of slides so you can see uh, the alternating pattern of where the sunlight is hitting throughout the months. And you can see how that fluctuates up and down on the top left because of that thing that we're going around the Earth. Now, it's not the sun that's moving. It's the fact that the Earth is kind of core like this. So if, if the sun is my cell phone over here and the Earth is going around, you see my hand, the top of my hand is facing the sun now. But six months later, when it's the opposite, it's the bottom of my hand that's close to the sun. And so that means that uh, it's going to change which area of the world receives more temperature. So that each hemisphere will go through these seasonal patterns. And that's going to affect the amount of sunlight that somebody receives.